What's going on guys? I'm back doing another video and this is an army should I make a modern house. This is the 82nd installment of Modern House and I mean I just a few. There are some weird things about this one, but I will talk about those later, including the um garage. But um yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so these page I'm for this is a 24 by 18. Now, if you want to build the little driveway that I showed you how to build, you will need an additional 7 off the front, so it'll end up being a 24 by 25. Now, if you're building this in a city, like next to a street, you I would recommend going further than that. However, it is up to you, obviously, because that is a small space. It depends on how you have the rest of your houses. If you have them all very close to the street, then I would obviously have it close to the street, but if you don't, then I would not. But, the materials you're, you will be needing to start off are smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, stone brick stairs, stone brick blocks we'll go blue stained glass blocks acacia doors dark oak wood planks and blue stained glass panes to start that I kid you not is just going to give us one section's worth the other sections are like some of them use these materials, however, pretty much after we're done this first section, we can get rid of three, which I think will carry us until the garage if we get the correct materials. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. So, what you do want to do is you want to come to the front left-hand corner of your 24 by 18 grid cough cover minute. If you have the additional, um, if you have a 24 by 25 and you want to build this, it would be just... It'd be, I believe, what? It'd be seven blocks four. So I think you need to go eight. No, yeah, eight back. You need to count eight back. Right? I think. But, so from the front left hand corner, if you have a 24 by 18 grade call, from eight, you want to count backward by one and going backwards, you want to place one moment. I need to understand what this number is 14 smooth quartz blocks. Just like that. Then going front to back on the next door up, you want to place smooth quartz stair, two smooth quartz blocks. And then the rest you can just leave for now. And next door, smooth quartz block, or smooth quartz stair at the front, smooth quartz block behind it. Which should give you this. Uh, it looks a little bit weird right now, which is kind of fine because it's like. It's like a pickaxe in the ground. I don't know. Uh, what you do want to do with, with the other ones, you want to bring every single other smooth quartz block up by 10. So you should have this, basically, and then this is going to just be squared off. And then that will be your left wall pretty much done. We actually have one more thing to do, and that is literally the left wall done. I know, it's so, so hard. Hardest part of the build right here. Um, if it was, it'd be an easy build. But yeah, this one isn't too bad. None of my modern houses are, I don't think, are too hard to understand. They're just, they look confusing, I feel like. At least that's just me. It's a lot of, like, overhangs and, like, intersecting parts. And sometimes that can be confusing. Especially with the garage being another block down. I think that might make it more confusing. I'm going ev over on every single row so far. <laughs> just like that. Then on the top of that, um, top row, you want to place the row of smooth quartz slabs. Only on that big, big wall, just, I don't know. Now, what you want to do is at the front here, you want to bring this bottom smooth quartz block right with three stone brick stairs. Then upward diagonally backward by one, place three more stone brick stairs. And bring each stone brick stair back with four stone brick blocks. Uh, 
on that back row of stone bricks, you want to go left to right or right to left from top of that, does not matter. Place a blue stained glass, acacia door, blue stained glass. Bring either blue stained glass block up by two and then bring your acacia door up with one glass. Just like that. On top of your blue glass, place a row of dark oak wood planks and extend it forward by one. Bring the left and the right row of dark oak at the front here up by five. And then between them, you want to place a dark oak wood plank at the top and blue stained glass panes in the middle. No, I'm just trying to see because that means that this is wrong, which I did do it wrong okay sorry you do want to actually just place uh, another full block of smooth quartz blocks on top of this so basically just place slabs on top of your slabs that are there and then just place the rest of slabs on top i do apologize for that so it should be 12 and a half total which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then the half up here i apologize i did not realize that i uh, made that small oopsies and then what you want to do is to the right of the staircase at the bottom here place a smooth quartz block to the right of that bottom stone brick stair on the smooth quartz stair on top that's all you need to do for that part because uh the rest is going to be like right concrete so what you do want to do is you actually want to get rid of your three smooth quartz variants and you want to get out like right concrete Spruce wood planks, and we'll go pillar quartz blocks. Behind this little smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stair thing, al only along the ground really, you can just place five light gray concrete, so it is in line with the blue glass. Just so the blue glass actually clings to a wall, because I think that is better. And then you want to bring that up with twelve. So it should be a half a block taller than these smooth quartz blocks, which is correct. And it's just a row of five. You don't have to bring all of them up necessarily, but some of them will go across the top. So I'm just going to. Plus, for me, it does not matter for the inside. If you're going to be building the inside, I would base it off of how you want your inside to look. If you want to, how you want to make this, if you want to make this a big open area or what you want to do. It all depends on that. You then want to bring that front row of light gray concrete right by three rows, or I guess columns, whichever you prefer to say. Rows just sounds better. And then bring it back with three rows from this front right corner. It's not too bad so far. But yeah, just like that. Now, what you want to do is, from the bottom right-hand corner of this, you want to bring this light gray concrete right with two blue stained glass paints. On both panes, on top of both panes, that is important specifically because of... Just because we're going to do it with both. And then to the right, we'll add the, what it clings to in a minute here. But you want to place two spruce wood planks is on top of each one individually. Three blue stained glass panes. One spruce plank. And four blue stained glass panes. Just like that. So, the top is going to connect straight to the ceiling. If you do not like that, you may add another row of planks. I would replace the top row of glass with a row of planks, though. Just so it's two blocks shorter, because that's gonna make. You'll see it later. You'll see what I why I mean why I say this later. But it's gonna make it better if it's two blocks shorter than the light gray concrete section. Just for the um, what's it called? Just for the roof, and you'll see why. And then what you want to do is you want to place a spruce wood plank here at the bottom, and you can bring it up one. And then on top of that, you can just place dark oak wood planks until you're as tall as the 
as the blue stained glass panes spruce plank section. I don't know how many blocks it is. I can figure it out, though. Nine it should be. I think. I don't feel like counting it individually, so we're just going to say nine. But I would double check that everything is correct for your sizing. Now, what you want to do is from these two spruce planks, you want to place light gray concrete forward diagonally to the diagonally to the right one. Bring it forward one, and right four. And then you want to bring that up with a row. And then you want to place a row of dark oak wood planks upward diagonally outward from that. It does want to overhang on the right side by one. It does want also want to go back there by one, just so you have that. Kind of looks like a mushroom, not going to lie. But it will look less mushroomy in a moment. That seems to be a modern house theme for me. Making something that looks like a mushroom when you first start it. A very flat mushroom. But mushroom nonetheless. So ignore the left side here. Ignore these two blocks here at the left. What you want to do is at the front row here, and only the front row, you want to go left to right or right to left on top of it. It does not matter. You're going to place dark oak wood plank. Two blue stained glass pans. Dark oak wood plank, two blue stained glass panes, dark oak wood plank. Copy that row two more times. And you want to place a row of dark oak wood planks on top of that. And then a row of blue stained glass panes. So now it looks even weirder. <laughs> it's going to fit better in a moment here, though, because it does kind of look weird with how it is, I will say. And then at the left and the right, you can just bring the setup back by two. Now, you only have one block there at the bottom on the right side, so just bring it back by an additional one. You're not going to see the light gray concrete, so don't worry about that. But it's going to be, I think, four, yeah, four dark oak wood planks on top of the original row and then blue stained glass, one blue stained glass pane. So one, two, three, four pain one two three four pain just like that now in the middle of this you have two rows and you just want to fill them in with stone bricks in line with the dark oak wood planks and I would also bring it back by one that will be important in a minute here Now, going left to right, you want to place, from this row of dark oak here, you can see this row to the left of the um, little window, you want to place one blue stained glass pane, and leave a one block gap, dark oak wood plank, one block gap, blue stained glass pane, dark oak wood plank. You can bring this dark oak wood plank down until it is, you could go one block shorter, than the previous row or rows um it should be so you can make it a total of five still you could actually cut off this entire corner if you wanted to i'm going to actually so you have this instead because that corner is going to be replaced with part of the ceiling and i just think that a roof and i think it's easier to have it like that at least for me but yeah, then you want to copy this row here at the top with the blue stained glass panes and stuff two more times and then after this, I'll just give a moment. Or not after this, I'll start with this next step. And on top of that, you want to go left to right, and you want to place two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank, two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank. I apologize if I might be going a little bit fast. I do not know at this point. I am a fast builder, but I was watching one of my old tutorials, and I realized, oh my god, I went so fast in that. Um... So yeah, if you're having any troubles with it, you can either go back, or if you're still confused, you may ask in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a quick cut, not for any reason other than I don't want it to die, because my power went out a few minutes ago right before I started this, and I don't want that to happen while I'm recording. So yeah. Now. Come to the right side, and you should have this little perfect row of four dark oak wood planks. You want to bring them back by... Hang on. You want to bring them back by 11, I think. It 
It is 11, good. I thought it was a total row of 15, but something was making me feel not quite right about it. At least for the top. So bottom section's like 18 or something. Did I get that correct? I did, cool. So yeah, just like that. That's a flat wall of dark oak. We should probably do the garage. So let's do that. What you want to do is you want to come back to the bottom here and you have these two light gray concrete. That's all good. You want to go four diagonally to the right and place a light gray concrete. And then bring it right with five sideways pillar quartz blocks and a light gray concrete. Bring either light gray concrete forward one. And then you want to copy that little row one more time. Now, I'm going to explain why I did it this way. If you want to change it, you can. It is possible. However, I made it go sinking into the ground by one block. Because this window right here, the roof's going to stick out like this. It's going to be gray concrete, not like gray, so don't worry about that. But it's going to stick out like this. If you have this a block higher, it's going to go into the window, which I didn't like, so I just pushed the garage down a block. Um, so, again, if you want to change it, feel free. But now, actually, no, never mind. You want to basically break down a block, and then you can bring the entire pattern. Also, the fact that you brought it up a block, you also want to bring it down a block. Just like this. And then... Uh, you can get rid of your pillar quartz blocks now and get out tripwire hook. There's a tripwire hook in the bottom center of that. And then if you're building the driveway, you want to get rid of your tripwire hook and get out stone brick slabs. If you're not building the driveway, do not worry about this next step. Um, if you want while we do this, you can bring these two rows of light gray concrete back by uh, 13 if you want. I think it's 13. It is 13, good. And then you can also bring them left by, I believe, 11. I have it written down, so that should that one should be correct. But what you want to do is you want to bring either bottom light gray concrete here on the like bottom of the garage here. You want to bring either one forward by 8. Make sure you break grass blocks for this. Or in my instance, lime terracotta. So there's your marker. Little side note, if you have bumpers or something like that of any sort, like, if you have a sidewalk and you have, how I build my sidewalks is, uh, Panda Express is too far and for you to see, I think it's like right behind that modern house, but I use smooth stone slabs for my sidewalk, so I would place smooth stone slabs on top of this light gray concrete, just to give it more of a bumper, but what you want to do is you want to break the dirt here under your garage, or I guess di directly below your garage. And then break this stone brick two rows forward. Just like that. So you should have three. Five by three. Then bring it forward with three rows of slabs. These slabs want to only be one block or half a block down though. So we're slowly elevating up. Just like that. And then you want to break your next three rows of grass blocks and replace them with stone bricks. Again, only one row wants to be broken. And this one should be level with the electric concrete. Just like that. I think it is best to do it specifically like this if you're running with a tighter space. Like, let's say you have, uh, I don't know, like the um, road here or something. You could go thinner if you needed to. You could go with twos. I wouldn't go any less than twos, though. Like that. You could do two, and then two. That's not it. Two, and then that would be the road. If you really needed to. I think the threes are better, though. But it is up to you. So, yeah, for those of you who are ahead, uh, you can skip this step as well, but uh, it kind of just moves a step back that you're going to skip, because I don't actually like know exactly what to do. I kind of I do know what to do, but I don't know exactly how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to bring these two light gray concrete here at the right side back by 13. Just like that. This is definitely different because I've never had a two story or a two, two block tall like building for, for something or it sticks up two blocks. Usually it's more than that before there's anything or it is a two block gap base. 
which some houses have had a modern house. And then you want to bring both of these left by 11. Just like that. At the back where your dark oak planks overhang, you do want to... I guess only actually the back block you want to bring down by one. Because... Let me check. Yeah, the dark oak planks on the back are going to actually stop the gray concrete that will go around as the roof. Anyways, you do want to bring this bottom dark oak plank along the back by six. So it should overhang the light gray concrete by one yet again. Now, what you want to do is you want to go from right to left from the front, left to right from my perspective. So starting from this row of dark oak planks and going towards the smooth quartz, you want to place two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank, two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank. Copy that row two more times. Place a dark oak on top of that. And then going again from the dark oak wall towards the other side, you want to place two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank, two blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank. And copy that row three more times. Maybe that's if I could place that one correctly. Thank you. Maybe mean, that's if I could break that one. Thank you, jeez. But yeah, just like that. And that is the back dark oak section done. Not the entire back done. We still have this gaping open section. And also, I guess the roof is technically part of the back. But what you want to do now is you want to bring this, these two like right concrete bisque. You want to bring them both inward diagonally and towards the front by one with spruce wood planks. So you can see where those are placed. I know there's a stupid explanation, but I said it differently because those two are special. Because what you want to do is you want to bring this dark oak plank here, this corner forward too, and it should be on top of these spruce wood blanks. And then you want to bring it up by eight. Either dark oak wood plank. Just like that. I'll get you an angle of that. Now, bring the spruce wood planks each, again, this is all from my perspective right now. You want to bring each one right by two. So now you have these two that are just chilling here. And you want to bring each one up by one with spruce. Then three, up by three with blue stained glass panes. Up by one with spruce wood planks. And up by four with blue stained glass panes. Just like that. You then can bring that entire section, again, right from my perspective with a row of light gray concrete. And that row of light gray concrete should be two blocks taller than it. For a total of, I believe, 13. Yes. You then want to bring that row of light gray concrete towards you by one. And then right by three rows. It should be 13 again. Or as tall as the front light gray concrete section. And then... I guess away from you by two rows, so towards the front of the build. Just like that. Now, kind of sticking in a block here, you can just place um, three stone bricks, and they want to be two blocks tall. Or three by two stone bricks. It should be inward diagonally from the light gray concrete. It should connect to the smooth quartz blocks. And I believe the third, yeah, third row in. 
You don't want to place a dark oak wood planks backward, diagonally, and upward by one, so towards you, and up, towards you, towards you, and upward. And then you want to bring the left and the right block each up by eight. Now moving bottom to top in this section, you want to place three blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank, three blue stained glass panes, dark oak plank. Kind of funny, that window and then the window here at the front are the only two windows that actually uh, don't connect to the roof. <laughs> at least for the second floor ones. And then, I guess third floor. Technically, you'll see. I'll talk about that in a sec here. You want to connect the top row of light gray concrete together on either side, and then fill in the middle in with fill the middle two rows in with light gray concrete, just like that. Now you can clear inventory and get out gray concrete. And along the top floor, what you're going to want to do is you basically just want to place gray concrete on top of the top. <coughs> sorry. The top row of dark oak wood planks, blue stained glass, and blue stained glass pane. Only those two, actually, because I, th I thought there was another, but I lied. There was not. I lied in my brain. Just like that. And at the front here, you can extend. Are they all in line? They all are. They all. They are all in line. You can extend them all forward by f four, and then connect them in front of this row of light gray concrete. I guess connect them in front of the light gray concrete pillar. That almost makes it look like it's supporting the roof, which is kind of what you want. And then you want to extend it along the right side. You want to go along the right here. And then stick over the back by one and go all the way and just connect to this corner here. Which should give you a rectangle. Is that right? I don't know why, but that feels wrong to me. We might have done this differently. Let me check. Oh no, that is how it is. Is it one at the front then? It is still one at the front. Interesting. So it's two over. It's over the like gray concrete by two at the back and one at the front. And then you can just fill in your entire roof in with gray concrete here. And then we'll worry about the garage in a moment here. So this like gray concrete section again almost looks like a support beam in the middle of it, which I think is a good touch. You kind of have to, especially with modern houses, you have to make sure that everything is like separate enough where they aren't like all the same color and all like completely just touching like you have to make everything seem like it's separate pieces but also they're connecting together so you can see these two there you can tell they're separate but they do connect this you can tell is separate from everything but it just connects smoothly to the wall you can tell that's like the whole garage area is separate but it connects to that you have to just make sure that everything is connecting properly let me check something real quick uh okay so what you want to do is you want to bring this dark oak plank below the right side of the window here. You can see which window I'm at. I'm at the garage here. Um, it's upper diagonally to the left of the garage. It's the first window. You want to bring the dark oak plank below the right block. Forward by two with gray concrete. Right by eight. Backward by, I believe it should be 16. And I just connect it left to that dark oak wood plank. And then you want to fill in this roof here in with gray concrete. Now, obviously, you don't have to go into the dark oak planks unless you want to. It might... I guess it depends on how you have your walls laid out. But, um, this just, I think, makes it look weird. You can add something on top of this if you like, or not. Like, just because you have all these all this flatness. Not weird, but it just... It adds a little bit of something different that I don't normally have in a house. Because it's just enough for you to go under, but it's not a ton. And then for the inside, what I would do is I would add a floor basically here. And then I'd have like a basement underneath. Like maybe th this these areas are staircases. And then what you do is you have the garage basically accessible from the basement. I think that's the best way to go about this. 
<coughs> sorry, just because of A, this window, and B, how this has to be down a little bit. I believe if you're on a super flat world, this would still work. Yeah, it would still work. And that would be more like a... Like, sometimes basements have, like, windows on the top. Like, kind of almost not, not like, along the ceiling, but, like, right at the top of the wall, they have, like, a, a, a window, a small little window like this. That's kind of what this is. I'm pretty sure a lot of houses have them, suburban houses more so. Although, I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of modern houses in real life. But, um, yeah, when you're done, ladies and gentlemen, that is your... The, your modern house, the 82nd installment complete. The thing is, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this one, feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, yeah, have a fantastic day and night. I will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, they all got wiped. Cool.